It's now time for Superfood Friday. And this morning, we have today nutritionist Joy Bauer. She is on a roll, <laughs> uh, summer roll to be exact. She's here with two versions of the dish we can all make this weekend. Good morning to you. Hey, Joy. Hey, guys. Hey, Joy. Let's yes, we are going to rock and roll. Okay. <laughs> Let's dig in. What's so the first one? So I'm going to tell you, not only are these light and refreshing, but they're super fun to make. And in the beginning, it's a little bit fussy, but once you get the hang of it, you are in. And I'm going to start with what I'm calling my shrimp summer rolls. So first, I'm going to make the shrimp filling. And here, I have one pound. This was actually frozen shrimp, and I got it cooked, but without the shell on. Okay. And I took off the tails, and I just chopped it up. So this is one pound of cooked shrimp right here. Okay. And I... Add in some celery for crunch, some chives and lemon zest, mm. a whole bunch of um, wonderful herbs. This is going to be tarragon and dill and mm. a little bit of salt and pepper. And honestly, you could put whatever you have in your garden or you have in your fridge. This is a little bit of mayo. You can use regular or light. A dash for some zing of lemon juice and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Mm, and yummy. that's it. That looks so fresh. now mm -hmm. it's so fresh. And here's the other thing this is 100% customizable. So if you want, you can swap in bay scallops or crab or treat yourself and put a little bit of lobster in there, or you could oh. even do chicken. Anything goes. So now that it's mixing, you see, I love how even herbs that alone looks that yummy. Yeah. Of, yeah. It's a, it's a shrimp salad. Yeah. It's really delicious. Hey, Joy, so what's now, the difference between a spring and a summer roll? That's a great question. So a summer roll is uncooked, and it uses a rice paper wrap, and I'm oh. going to show you that. And a spring roll is actually cooked, and they use a dough outside. Boom. All so, right, let's get rolling, Joy. So this is, love that, Jill. <laughs> this, this is our wrapper. And you see, like, it's not really flexible. If I started to wrap this, it's going to break in half. Mm -hmm. So this is the only part that you really have to master. I have a big bowl of water, mm -hmm. and I'm going to submerge this just for 10 seconds. So 10, 9, Eight, seven, really? six, five, <laughs> four, three, two. I am wasting prime oh time. Oh my god! Yeah. In, in, in oh. TV time, that was just like an hour. I know. Well, Sorry, that's the Allie. end of the second, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow, Joy's going to count to twenty. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm shaking off the water, <laughs> I and I today. place it down here. I'm going to get rid of my water, and we're going to roll now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I like a little bit of greenery. So I put down a lettuce right in the middle, and I'm going to scoop in some of my shrimp salad, just like this. And <laughs> this is fun with, with a crowd. You could get them to wrap it up. Yeah. You wrap over the top. It's like burrito style. Is that and you're that's gonna wrap edible, it this right? Way. That wrap? That's an edible wrap, obviously. It's that's the edible point. and it's <laughs> low in <laughs> carb, <segment>. right? <laughs> that be is fun that an ornamental wrap? <laughs> is that going to the Christmas no, you tree? you have to scoop oh, out the inside. And so I'm rolling it up, uh. and that's it. Yum. And there you go. I, I feel a little spice in there. I was going to say, I see you, mango. I heard you do a spicy mango. Yum. Salad. Yeah. So that's the cool part. So it's 100% customizable. So here I'm showing yum. the fixins for a spicy mango. I see now you see, I have yeah, yeah. jalapeno for crunch. I have aromatic basil leaves I put in. I have creamy, heart healthy avocado. Mm. These really are good. julienne cucumbers and i know mango is a little bit pricey right now so also if you prefer you could do sliced purple grapes you could mm. do apple pear berries anything goes but i'm going to show you what these look like finished so oh, they look beautiful. this is aren't these great wow yes, and fresh what is that that sauce looks amazing Okay, so I am really, really excited about this sauce. I, my family is obsessed with the spicy cashew dressing that you get out at a lot of the popular salad bar restaurants. Hmm. And um, they kind of dared me to try it and to, to recreate it. So all you have to do is I take some raw cashews, mm -hmm. I put it at the bottom of a blender with boiling water on top, and then you add in reduced sodium soy sauce, some sriracha, a little bit of maple syrup, lime juice, and a, and a few herbs. And Ooh. I'm telling you, I, I want to see if I could pour this for you so you could see how creamy it is. Look at that. Mm. 
Mm. We have to go, but I just want to say, I made. She made that for me once, and I just dipped vegetables in it. Oh. Like you could dip a shoe in it. It's yeah. so delicious. You and dip a shoe. And it, yeah. And it's, yeah. All Mom. right, George. Jill is my rock face. and roll moves as we go to break. I want to be her oh, guinea pig. Yeah, Can you call me the next time you're testing in the kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like my favorite taste testers, Yay. always. Oh, and I'm so also going to show you a sesame dipping sauce. So I'll okay. put that on the website and on social. Love okay, you guys. Good. Happy Friday, Love Joy. You more. Have a great weekend. For these recipes <laughs> and more, too. head to today.com slash food. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.